so it's kind of like a more off the off the uh, record kind of thing. Not to use the words that I would ordinarily use. No, you yeah. No, this is a, you could use those words. I'd rather you not though. I try not to swear on my channel just because in case um, yeah. fathers are watching oh, with yeah. their kids. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm up here in Sheffield, Massachusetts. This is my good friend Francis Cunningham. He I consider you my art teacher and um, I'm shooting a bunch of footage which I hope to tune, turn into a documentary at some point. And uh, today we took some drone shots. <clears throat> we talked about the apple orchard and, uh, and now I'm turning them into an ice snob, <laughs> which, is, which is funny. I, what that means is we're having drinks. Dick's having, well, his, Francis Cunningham, but Cheers. everybody, cheers. Everybody who's friends with him and knows him is Dick Cunningham. Uh, I don't know how Francis turns into Dick Cunningham. It's either the company. It's either the company or the ice, or both. No, but how but does the, Francis why Cunningham... Why is a martini superior? To what? To the way I make it at home. Oh, up in the country. We're here. Oh, yeah, it's good. Okay, I said it's either the ice or the, or the company or both. Oh, we're talking about the ice now. I thought yeah, we were talking, we're talking about, about your name. About, okay. No, we're talking about ice. Okay, so the thing that I... Look at the sun's finally coming out yeah. here. The thing with uh, ice is if you buy ice, like bag ice, I call it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you buy ice from the supermarket or the liquor store or whatever, or the wherever you get beer, um, that ice, and I, I heard this somewhere on a radio program, and now I pay attention to it, that ice is... Uh, the water is boiled before it's frozen, which gets all the oxygen out of the water, and then you have you end up with clear ice. Yeah. And so I heard that story, and then you think you know you have a nice drink with, with a good gin, and you put this ice that you've made in your freezer that has all this air in it, and then you start thinking of all the different tastes it has from all the different foods that are in your freezer, and I turned into an ice snob. I learned this myself. It was self-taught. And the reason that he's he's come on this trip, which he's just admitted, is to turn me into an ice snob. That's my whole goal in life, is to turn everybody into an ice snob. But look at how beautiful this drink yeah, is, because is. you can that. see it. Look at that. Look at that. So, yeah. anyway, tomorrow we're going to shoot some more video, and it'll prob probably be uh, you talking about your life, about are about how the um, uh, living here parts of the year affects your artwork. Uh, so we'll do that for a little while. And as you talk, I'll probably put in some of the scenery with the drone shots and music. So, yeah. And uh, and then we might go to the Shaker Museum, which will be, I think, inspiring for some upcoming furniture projects. So it's a nice little break. I'm taking. Uh, I think we're supposed to go home on Wednesday, but if we stay till Thursday, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, we might just do that. I've got we my computer might. here, but I don't have any internet, which is kind of odd for me because I usually I rely heavily on the internet. But I don't know what we can do about that. It is what it is. What it is is, yeah. Yeah, I've got a ton of uh, I've got a ton of videos that I'm editing. I think my next video, I don't know if this will come out first, but I did a video for WD40. And uh, that's mostly edited, mostly features my brother working on my dad's boat. And uh, so that'll come out and then um, and then probably just some tip videos because as you guys know, I'm working on a big project now with that TV lift cabinet. And I'm not going to start anything uh, like a piece of furniture until that thing's kind of behind me. Or at least until I get everything off to the company and they uh, turn that all my drawings into a SketchUp file and uh, and I can finally launch that video. So anyway, I guess that's what's going on. Do you have anything you want to say to everybody? <laughs> they loved your last video. Everybody loved your last video when we did it of the barn, the post and bean barn. Yeah, but you, you can... I'm not becoming self-conscious. A little self-conscious? Yeah. I'm, I'm now realizing that the thing is looking at me. So I wish everybody well. And I'm enjoying my life. And that's all. Any words of wisdom? You're in your mid-80s. I have no wisdom. You, don't, you have to have some words. I have words of wisdom. Well, I don't at this hour. 
I'm going to say my words of wisdom is to try to slow down. Always focus on quality in your projects. It doesn't matter if it takes you longer because in the end, when you look back at something that you've made 10 years from now, you won't remember the time it took, but you will see the mistakes you made. So, uh, or the mistakes that you made that you didn't take the time to fix because everybody makes mistakes. I got a phone call. Yeah. Right, you go. But anyway, so everybody makes mistakes. And uh, as just my teacher them. Edwin Dickinson said, it's easier to get it right the first time. All right, there you go. It's easier to get it right the first time. All right, guys. Glad it's raining on the right-hand side. I think that we just talk about the tools again, and uh, and you don't. I'm not going to direct you. Uh, you might you might just think out loud why you like to paint the tools, because it is a major part of your subject. And if we get this in the can, then that's a, a lot that we've gotten done. And so I won't say another word. You start whenever you want. I'm just walking away from the camera. When I first came uh, back to the Berkshires where I grew up, and uh, we got this place and, and, and moved the barn from belong to parents of a friend of mine in 1963, uh, Dick Babcock put the barn, took it all down, put it all together, I took it down, put it on the back of a trick, pickup truck and brought the darn thing down here and put it up as the most amazing thing. Uh, and that he, he became a really, probably knew more about Barnes than anybody in the Western Hemisphere. But this was his first one that he put up from scratch. And my friend, a woodsman friend, Floyd Woodbeck, uh, helped greatly. We put up fences so that we could have, keep the cows out uh, of the front of the house and so forth and so on.